Hey guys, your boy DP here, back again with another video, and today I'm gonna show you guys how I actually take my LEGO photos. So a lot of people have been wondering how I actually do this, so I think it's time for me to actually show you guys how I do this stuff. And I've done a video like a long time ago, like more than a year ago, so I think it was a pretty good time for me to you know upload this video today so this is step by step so i'm pretty sure if you follow all of these steps i'm pretty sure you guys are going to get a great looking photo for your instagram or for your own uh, own thingy so yeah let's start this video all right so since i bought this macbook pro i think i've been i'm gonna use this as a main computer but i've been uh, editing photos and uh, making videos through my imac but now it's this one this one is ridiculously fast and it doesn't really have any much noises and the primary um, software that i use to edit my photos are photoshop photoshop is the best you can do literally anything you want so i highly suggest you guys getting this instead of like a weird mobile app i think they're, they're pretty bad quality to be honest so yeah so you don't need the computer right now what you need is the lego figure that you want to take a shot at so here we have a bunch of clone troopers over here i've been loving these clones and i'm gonna take a photo of commander cody today so this one is from jonah toys i absolutely love their bodies but yeah this, so pick a figure that you want to get and uh, you want to take a picture of and these are the stands that i made by lego bricks it's because my computer is huge and to show the background i needed this to stand up a little higher than the average uh, average height let's say and we got some other supports stands etc and shout out to Clonary Customs with no reason than uh, other than making these cool helmets now once everything is done you're gonna place them in front of your computer but before that you gotta pose your figure so over here we have Commander Cody what I'm gonna do about this figure is I'm gonna use some sticky text you can use it for your arms legs and heads but today I think I'm gonna use only the heads because the head piece because I'm gonna recreate the scene where he executes order 66. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna do, you know, you just gotta make a bow with the sticky tag. You remove your head piece and you replace the head piece with the sticky tag, and you can literally move whichever you want. Once you got your figure posed uh, as you want it like this over here I'm just gonna adjust a little bit now it's time for you to actually put the figure or give him some accessories so I'm gonna give him the hologram projector from uh, Star Wars that I made it's, it's literally uh, two pieces of brick uh, of, of uh, Lego pieces but yeah that's what you guys gotta do now Now remove everything in front of uh, your computer. You need some space to place those stands, etc., to make uh, make sure the figure is behind and in front of the computer uh, background. So that's what I do. So take a look. So the most important part is the lightning. So this is what I'm using. This is the VJ Film, etc. I don't know the name here's the name and this one is around 20 bucks on amazon and seriously guys lightning lighting is very very important uh, i think i just said lightning a couple seconds ago but whatever place it in your tripod or you can use your hands or whatever and uh, face it to your figure and you're ready to go and for the background i just go on google and search for some images here we have utapo utapow i have no idea how to pronounce that but here we have a picture of cody what i do is i download these uh, this, these images and then i zoom to like i don't know uh, I, yeah you, you zoom it max where you can actually put your position your figure at you gotta check out like that so here we have this it's too orangey it's too uh fiery so i'm gonna change some of the positions and we'll see and then now you just gotta shoot guys it's very easy to shoot you can adjust the lighting as well from your computer or camera so yeah after that you're gonna edit through photoshop which i will be releasing a separate video if everyone likes this video if not then i won't be releasing but yeah the result will give this so i hope you guys i hope this actually helped you guys if you guys are beginners to lego photography I can't say that I'm I I can't say that I'm the best of the community. There's so many cool people, cooler people than me. So you, I suggest you guys checking checking them out on Instagram. They're pretty actually big. So you, it's gonna be easy 
to you for you to find them so yeah thanks for watching the video guys hope you guys enjoyed and goodbye Thank you.